Hi, so today I'll be demonstrating how to perform a COVID rapid antigen test, also known as a rat test. Um, just to keep in mind that there are different versions of this test that will be available from different companies. There's two main types, however. Um, one of them is called, is uses a nasal swab and the other one uses both a combination of a nasal and a throat swab. Today I'll be doing the one with the nasal swab However, I'll also show you how to perform a throat swab so that uh, you're aware of how to do that too if that's the test that you receive. So first things first, when you open your kit, you need to find five main parts of the test. So the first is the uh, test device, which is where you will drop your solution on that will tell you whether or not you're positive or negative. There's the solution. Which comes in a little tube. There's a stopper so that you can swish the solution around once you've put your swab in and of course the swab. And finally um, each kit should come with its own little set of instructions um, because like I said they will vary a little bit. So first we'll open up the test device which comes in its own little plastic. And so it looks like this. And there's a C and a T, which I'll tell you the meanings of in a minute. The second thing you wanna do is open the top off of your solution so that you're not having to do that once you've collected your sample. Okay, so once you've removed the top off, just sit it up. And then you want to open up the swab. So, I'm going to show you how to do a nasal swab first. So, the first thing you want to do is tilt your head back. Um, they say about 70 degrees, which is about like there. And you want to put this in your nose, just as far as you can feel a bit of resistance at the back. Um, and then you want to swish it around 10 times. So I'll demonstrate that. <coughs> that was 10 times, sorry. It's a little bit uncomfortable. It will be a little bit uncomfortable to do. So once you've done the swab, you want to put it into the solution that you opened up earlier and you want to swish it in here 10 times. It's important to make sure that you get it all in there so that your sample is accurate. So once you've done that 10 times, it's important to discard this because this could be contaminated. Once you've done that, you take your stopper and put it over the top of the solution. And you want to put this onto the test device into the little well here. So just there. And in my particular case with this test, it's asked for four drops of the sample. Um, you wanna make sure with your instructions exactly how many drops to put in. So I'm just gonna put in four drops. Okay, and once you've put in four drops, my test asks me to wait 15 minutes for my results. Um, some tests may ask for 20 minutes. It depends on the test, so again, read the instructions that are associated with your test. So once you've waited 15 minutes or however long your test requires you to wait, you can then interpret the result on the test device. So when you look here, there's a C and there's a T. So when a test is completed correctly, the C line should always darken. So if your C line has not darkened, like mine has here, so it has darkened. That test needs to be re-performed. There might have been some kind of mistake or the test could have been um, faulty. So if the C line is darkened and the T line is not darkened, that's indicative of a negative result. If the T line has also darkened, that's a positive result. So again, if the C line has darkened and not the T line, that's negative. 
and if the t-line has darkened that's positive if only the t-line is positive and not the c-line that's an indication that you need to redo your test and if neither of them are positive again that means you need to redo your test so the only time you're sure you're not, you've got a negative result is when the c-line only is darkened And so just before we wrap up, I wanted to talk through how to perform a throat swab. Um, I haven't got a swab on me, but I'll just talk through how to perform it. So um, similarly to the navel saw swab, you open it up and then you tilt your head back and you want to put the swab at the back of your mouth where your tonsils are. So you don't want, the important thing that you don't want to do is contact the swab with your tongue and um, contaminated that way you just want it to touch just the back of your throat and you want to swish it around there about four or five times um, again just with the nasal it's a little bit uncomfortable um, but just four or five times and then uh, some of the rat tests will be a combined nasal and throat so typically you'll do the throat swab first and then you use the same swab and use that to do the nasal swab the same way that I demonstrated earlier and that's all. Thank you.